I don't know if anybody's gonna be on this video and you know, I fully intended to make this easy peasy lemon squeezy. Really simple, but super simple. Okay, I'm already having technical difficulties, which is just really my tripod is not cooperating. Doing the stent that I thought it would. All right, so what's the deal with this video? Nothing really. The deal, yo, is that I'm, oh, totally should have put my microphone on this, especially because right here, the sound quality is like, <gasps> just terrible. Uh, the ceiling is very low. There's, lots of flooring, the sound bouncing everywhere makes for really awful sound quality here. But nonetheless, I, I have been off of YouTube for a while. <laughs> Every time I think I'm gonna be on it, more often I'm, something happens. Look at that pumpkin spice recipe. For everyone in Slovenia wondering what the dickens is pumpkin spice? <laughs> Why are the Americans so obsessed with it? Well, I should have named this video the history of pumpkin spice latte and North America because nobody, you know, this is the moment where you play like the sad song and make things black and white, except I'm live, so I can't do any of that editing. Uh, this is one of those hard things about being an expat, being in America, an American in, okay, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm looking at this like how much sensitive information is going to show on my screen. I don't know. Um, this is one of the tough things about being an expat, an American in Slovenia, American in Europe, is just that they don't get it. Like they don't get a lot of the things that are just straight up American. And huge thing that's American, like the most American holiday besides 4th of July is Thanksgiving right? Thanksgiving is huge in America and it's a really special holiday because it just kind of bridges all, it, 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 how do you say this? It goes over, it umbrellas everybody. There's, you know, like there's not a religion left out of it per se. I mean, okay, if we want to get real technical and historical, I'm sure we could say there are people left out of it, but for the most part, it's inclusive of everybody, you know? Um, so there's, it's not particular to one religion or another. And everybody, every single American, anyone who's, who grew up in America has a fond, like has really good memories of Thanksgiving. But for a lot of people, it's almost like their favorite holiday, much more so than Christmas or whatever. So where do I sign into YouTube? Oh my gosh, you ever notice that you're signed out for so long that you're like, I don't even remember how to sign in anymore. Um, so, and one of the things that connects us to Thanksgiving so strongly is the food. So, I know in Slovenia you have very traditional foods that go along with holidays. Putica uh, is the, the main one I can think of. Ham obviously goes along with that. Um, there's just like special dishes. Oh my gosh. Whoa, did you just interrupt? Okay, yeah, yes, it's me. Oh my gosh. You're probably watching this thinking, what is she going on about? It's because I just got a note, I'm, this is my phone, and I just signed in, and Google's so dumb, it's so smart, it's dumb. It's like, hold on, is this really you? I'm like, yes, yes. What am I doing? I'm uploading, I'm trying to upload. Um, so America, because it is a melting pot of so many cultures and peoples, we don't really have, um, specific food that is, that connects us to our heritage, especially if you're a few generations removed from your immigrant ancestors. So like my grandfather his family immigrated. I think he was born in Sicily. They immigrated. That was on my my dad's, no, my mom's side. So my mom's father immigrated. 
Um, and even though her father spoke Italian and all his family spoke Italian, my mom and all of her siblings, nobody grew up spoke, speaking Italian. And the food that I grew up on was nothing resembling Italian heritage or culture. And my dad's side of the family, I don't even know when they came to America. They are like Irish Welsh descent and um, they have more connection with life. So if you think the, the US is huge and it's kind of broken up into sections, like you have the West Coast, then you have the Midwest, and then you have the South and uh, kind of all the countries on the North top there bordering Canada are just kind of, they're just, they don't exist. <laughs> in terms of food, it's like, meh. There, some of them are kind of lumped into the Midwest. Um, it's very, there's like states that I have absolutely no idea if they have any culture around their food, but I guess, you know, places like Chicago, that would be considered up there, and that's definitely a... I can't talk and do this at the same time. Where's my movie? Okay. Upload. What am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is different regions in America have, like, dishes or types of food that are kind of regional, cultural, but not nearly to the extent that you have in Europe. And the closest thing we have to that is Thanksgiving. And the iconic, like, memorative dessert for Thanksgiving is called pumpkin pie. You've probably heard of it. And if you're anything like my husband, who's Slovenian, you think, pumpkin pie, that sounds disgusting. Why would I want pumpkin made into a pie? And I try to put that on the other, you know, like I try to put that into my own context and think, like, Oh yeah, if you were gonna make like avocado into a pie, that would be kind of gross. But pumpkin pie has a very special spice blend and you only have it, I mean, since before pumpkin spice lattes came along. That spice mix and that flavor combination only came at Thanksgiving. It was pumpkin pie, with that special fragrance, that special flavor, and that insanely powerful, like, beautiful melody of taste and ugh, goodness. And all your, like, happy memories are tied to that flavor. And so when suddenly somebody gives you that flavor, and it's not on Thanksgiving Day, surrounded by your family and friends and people you love more than anything, and it's the, the whole freaking week planning your meals and everything and you taste that and you go oh my gosh suddenly you're there in the midst of the moment of holiday and happiness and all of those good feelings that come along with it I don't think you can understand this like if you're a Slovenian and you've only ever lived in Slovenia it's like imagine you leave Slovenia and you're gone from your home country for like 20 years and suddenly on the freaking beaches of Jamaica, somebody serves you putica. And all of a sudden, you're right back in Slovenia with your family and friends and everybody who means the most to you in the warm, cozy kitchen and babica is making your putica. And all of those emotions come up. That's why pumpkin spice is so important to Americans because it comes from that central holiday of like family togetherness, thankfulness, gratitude, and like really good feelings and delicious food. And we don't have any other holidays in America that tie us to a specific food. Um, and I know like in the mid, like there's side dishes that vary depending on regions, but like pumpkin pie and turkey, stuffing, cranberry sauce. I think those are like universal. Those are pretty universal. Now, I have a confession to make. I don't make pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. I usually make apple pie because Luke has been such a downer on my pumpkin spice feels. <laughs> He's like, ugh, I can't imagine anything more disgusting than a pumpkin pie. 
And he's not the only Slovene that said that to me either. So I've always just been like, well, I'll make apple pie because apple pie is another American classic and it is so delicious. It is really a labor of love though because that pie takes a long time. Like it's very, you think it's simple, but you have to peel a bunch of apples and I don't have that fancy like peeler corer that Americans have. So you have to peel them all by hand, then you have to core them, and then you have to slice them all the way from gloomy Sweden. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, all right, binge watch away, my friend. Welcome to Slovenia next year or whenever you, that you come. We have some glorious sunshine right now, but Ljubljana is like very gloomy. It, it really is. If you go just a little bit out of Ljubljana, it gets better, but at least during the winter. Um, but I, I'm not complaining now because there's some beautiful sunshine, which I've dropped my shades over because poor lighting conditions. So anyways, I was going on a rant about apple pie, which now that I'm about to upload this video, I realize I don't have a thumbnail. And I'm, an, oh, did I take one? Except now I can't even look because it's on my phone. This is a major fail, y'all. This is a major fail. <laughs> abort, abort, abort. Ah, uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, um, uploading 25%, 75, no, 17 minutes left. All right, so this video is basically how to make a pumpkin spice creamer to put in your coffee and it really does give you the pumpkin spice feel that Americans love so much. So if you want to know what they're all on about, what we all are like, uh, now I'm going to tell you straight up, you will not enjoy this as much as Americans because you don't have the emotional connection to it that we do. And I'm not saying to make this, uh, and is it possible to make American flavor with Slovenian food? Are you talking about American flavored pumpkin spice or like just American flavored food? Because like if I think of American flavored food, I'm like burgers and hot dogs and hamburgers or, or burgers and hamburgers, burgers, hot dogs, french fries. That's like typical American food. Definitely can make that here. If you're talking about like a, like a very authentic tasting pumpkin spice, then yes, you can make it here. Although it's really tough, really tough. So I don't mention this in the video, <laughs> so you'll be the only ones to know. But um, one of the ingredients in pumpkin spice mix is allspice. I've never seen it around here. I don't know what it's called, but what, let's see, last year or two years ago maybe, uh, during Christmas time, I was walking through Lidl and I was looking at their spice section and I was like, oh my gosh, this is all spice. And it was a bag of whole all spice, whatever they are, I guess berries, but they're like small little berries that are made of wood is essentially kind of like cloves, you know, how clove, whole cloves are very hard, like wood essentially. That's what allspice is like, but you need ground allspice, ground cloves for the recipe. So I have a little coffee grinder that I had for the longest time before I had a like burr grinder. So instead of using it for coffee, because it's just a blade, I now use it for uh, herbs or spices or whatever. So I put in some allspice into that and zzz, <laughs> got my ground allspice really wasn't easy though. Like that stuff did not grind very well. And then also with cloves, probably you can get cloves, like ground cloves at the store here, not a problem. Uh, but I was at home and didn't want to take the time to go make a trip to the store for no reason. So I used my whole cloves in the grinder. Okay. Things you learn. Cloves apparently have a lot of oil in them because after grinding them in that thing, it was like 
so oily on the inside and it smelled amazing because clothes smell amazing. But then it was pretty much impossible to clean. I was like, well, anything I grind from here on out will have residue of clove in it. I guess that's just the way it is. So, um, okay, this video is brought to you by me because I have no sponsors. <laughs> Let's see, what do I want to, where can I, <laughs> monetization, okay, we'll monetize it. Since now, in case you didn't know, YouTube will monetize your videos and take all the monies. Oh, only videos longer than eight minutes are eligible for ads during the video. Oh, that's fine. I never put ads during my videos because I think it's just, I don't like it. Um, 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 I, I just don't like interrupting videos. I think it's, I hate it. So I don't do it to people. I hate watching it, so I don't do it to people. None of the above controversial, sensitive, harmful, dangerous, shocking content. I don't think so. Uh, uh, submit your rating. I thought that's what I did. None of the above. Oh, okay, submit rating. I would be better at this if I uploaded more frequently, more often. Subtitles, cards, end screen, end screen. Do that later when I upload a thumbnail. I think I took a picture for a thumbnail that looked fancy and nice. Unlisted, private, members only. Oh, should we comment below? Allspice is pim piment. piment. Are you sure? Okay, I'm not gonna question you, but I, I always thought allspice or piment or pimento was like the thing that came in, you know, the red thing that was in green olives that I, Piment allspice. Well, now I know. Okay. Um, I'll go look for ground piment. Okay. Save. So this video is uploading and once I finish this, I, you know, it's kind of like, it's not two birds, one stone. What would you say? You get like the benefit of two things out of one. So it's like, I have to upload this video, but if I talk about uploading this video, I'm actually doing two videos at once, right? So, this video basically, I make the um, pumpkin spice creamer and I tell you how to make it and then you add the pumpkin spice mix to the pumpkin spice creamer and I also tell you how to make the pumpkin spice mix. I don't actually tell you anything because it's only like a three or four minute video and it's all just written up on the screen nicely. So there you go. It'll be up tonight. Um, wait, why did I click on that? No, I don't want that. Um, back to Final Cut Pro. I have, how long is it? It's, oh my gosh, it's only, it's two minutes. Great. Okay, now I have a second video coming out where I need to do a voiceover for it, I think, but I break down a whole chicken and I make a chicken broth into a chicken, like a really nice chicken broth, chicken stock, whatever you want to call it. And <laughs> I recorded all these great shots of me doing these things. And then, uh, okay, I love Frank James. Somebody just wrote on my, in the chat, I love how Frank James makes legit commercial breaks. He <laughs> saying, let's see if YouTube would like to Show some ads. He does. He always says, like, let's see if YouTube would like to support this channel with a commercial break. Thanks for sitting through that. Um, yeah, I really enjoy his content. Usually, YouTube does not want to show me ads. It's true. YouTube, when I started, back when I started, 
which actually I was so late to the game. But when I did start, I remember there was no, still no ads on YouTube in Slovenia. It was always really nice because whenever I'd watch YouTube in Slovenia, no ads anywhere. And then I'd go back to America and then I'd get tons of ads. Oh my goodness. All this time I've been talking in English. In veš kaj, al veš te kaj. Zdaj z otroci imamo igra. Fore imamo. Da jaz govorim z njimi, ne, kako je, with them, z njimi, a ne? Whatever, you get the picture. Yeah, z njimi. Yes! Oh, it's working. Govorim samo z njimi v slovenščini in Luka govori z njimi v angliško. In zdaj, vsak dan, do mi klavž pride, govorim vsak dan, z jutraj do večer v slovenščini pred doma. In, in, ko gremo v vrtec ali v šolo, težko mi je. Ampak, mislim, da dela, ker vedno boš, a ne? Grem, a veš, kaj res rabim? Rabim, rabim eno prijateljico na Marko Polo, ki bo z mano, ki bo z mano govori v slovenščini, ker ful Ful govorim na Marko Polo s moji prijateljici in je vedno v angliško, po angliško. Ok, that's enough for that. Off topic, but would you ever consider making a video about the general cost of life in Ljubljana? And general tips for people moving to Slovenia. I feel like I should make content about this, although I don't feel like I'm anywhere near qualified to create that. But only because then when people send me emails and messages asking me questions, I can just point them to that video because very often I get emails or text messages or, um, you know, private messages or whatever um, from people asking me these sorts of questions. It's a little bit of a pet peeve of mine because a lot of times they ask me questions. Like, I kind of have a rule because I get so so much content or messages, if it's emails or DMs or whatever. And I'm not saying this like, oh, I'm so cool. But I just get quite a bit and it takes a lot of time to respond to each one of them. And it's like, if you send me a message that you could have easily Googled the answer to, I'm not gonna respond. <laughs> That's just the rule I've completely arbitrary. I should probably tell people that this is my rule, you can Google it, but that just seems harsher than not, ex not answering them at all. I met somebody and he said he followed my videos and then I ghosted him in the messages and I was like, oh no, I'm so sorry. And then I went and dug up his messages and he started a message off with, hey, can I ask you a question? And I was like, yeah, that's always a no answer because you know what happens if you're a woman and a dude you don't know sends you that question. It's like, I don't even want, I don't want your pictures, I don't want, no, I'm gonna pretend I never saw that. So never ever start a conversation like that. Or the, hey, those are equally annoying. Like, I'm not gonna respond to that. Just not. <laughs> uh, so anyways, it would be great to make um, a video like that because I could point people in that direction. It's, it's interesting. Uh, in comparison to like other countries, other European cities, I would say to be honest, on the more affordable end, like it's definitely gonna be more affordable than like, you know, the big major cities. Um, Ljubljana is gonna be much more expensive than slightly outside of Ljubljana. But if you go like 30 minutes outside of Ljubljana, it is crazy cheap. But that could be just because cost of living, like the amount people spend on where they live 
in America, well, I'm from California, so it's even worse. Um, but it's quite high in, in California, and um, here people have much lower salaries, and they usually have much less to spend on their cost. On um, you know, they. I think what I really like about, I'd say, European spending culture is that people tend to spend a lot less on their costs of living. They save better and they go on vacation more. Whereas Americans kind of put a lot of money into their living expenses and travel much less. It is harder being an American because it's like, imagine if you wanted to go out of the country, like, okay, if you're a Slovene, let's put it in this context, you wanted to go out of the country, you'd have to like go all the way to Russia. Like that's kind of how far it is. I actually think I calculated once like, I don't know, I forget, but it took me, you know, I drove from Southern California like Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Louisiana, and that took me like 36 hours of driving nonstop. And you're still in the United States, so it's really hard to make comparisons. What am I drinking? I made a hot toddy. You don't know what this is. It's, well, I didn't have a lemon, so I used an orange. Uh, but you do like fresh squeeze of lemon juice. I used orange and then you do a little bit of whiskey Which I did just a little bit of whiskey and I did um, Medica which is if you don't know what that is is uh, honey Schnapps, it's very traditional Slovenian it is so delicious and then I did honey and then hot water Stirred it around. It's supposed to be great. For, I actually it is almost an instant cure for sore throats. I don't know why. I think that the alcohol kills the bacteria that are causing the problem in your sore throat. And then the honey helps soothe it. And then I think that the lemon is just like a boost of vitamin C. These are all theory, okay? Don't hold me to this. All right, well, that's all I have to say. I really didn't want this live thing to be too long. Please let me know if uh, you enjoy doing doing this if you enjoy live videos um, I know it's really annoying to like it's really annoying to watch or listen to the sound here because it is so bad I have plans for that I do I'm planning to put a rug here which will help a lot and I plan to, on this wall, I'm gonna do some soundproofing, but not in the way you would expect. Not that ugly ass cardboard or foam stuff. Like, no, this is a classy joint. We're gonna keep it classy. It's gonna look sexy. Not having that stuff up on my walls. Like, hell no. <laughs> I'm like, I don't care if it works the best. I don't care, I'm gonna use something that looks nice. Um, so anyways, I realize that that's kind of annoying though when you're watching videos. So I got to remedy that pronto because I want to make more videos. I now finally can make more videos. Like, I don't know, maybe it's coming through the video. I don't know, but like mentally I'm doing a lot better. I told Luca the other day, I'm finally starting to see glimpses of the real Mariah shine out again, where you know, life was so hard for a while that that person was just gone, like just gone and lost and buried under tons of stress and trauma. And now it's like after six months of living here and you know, things settling down, it's like, oh wow, there she is again. So I'm really, I'm looking forward to kind of reconnecting with all of y'all and hey, New beginnings, new stories coming up. I'm excited for all of that. Anyways, I'm gonna end this. Thanks uh, for sticking around. Have a nice day with whatever else you're doing and look for the pumpkin spice video coming up tonight. <laughs>